Hello, my name is Garx82 and welcome back to Minecraft Tech New Horizon series. Uh, last episode, uh, got a whole bunch of stuff crafting up in the fusion reactor. Just been kind of letting it run for a while, but uh, still have quite a while to go for all that to Mericeum. Um, but in the meantime, uh, um, we're just going to kind of do some other stuff here. Um, I did start putting some of the components that we need over in the um, for the neutronium compressor, but uh, we're just kind of slowly working towards that. And I think I got uh, a couple of other things here. So I uh, need to get a few of those. I guess we'll kind of get that. How about we do 100? I don't think we need that much, but uh, we need... Uh, large black plutonium plate so we need the things and then i need six large bedrockium plates so that's what 48 ish i think yeah because they're eight each i believe and then 10 large neutronium plates so that's another bunch of stuff so just kind of getting this going and uh yeah, we'll get to that. Um, I did set up a the miner on Pluto, and I wanted to point something out because I didn't even know this was a thing anymore, or I didn't know this was a new thing. Uh, but if you right click on it, it'll set to a mine radius. So I didn't realize that was a thing, um, but it seems to be a bit buggy. Um, so when you place it down at first, it'll be set to like zero and it won't mine anything. Um, but I'm also having issues with it set to the full radius as well. So it seems a bit buggy. It looked like it only did about four away from it, no matter how much I set it. So that definitely seems to be a problem with that, but hopefully that'll be fixed. Uh, so soon um because that is another pretty game breaking bug if i can't do any mining um i mean yeah trying to like move the miner every like 5 minutes cuz it's only doing like a little a little bit it did over like chunk boundaries and it kind of did like that but it looked like it was about the size of a chunk um so not sure. And it didn't even do the whole chunk because there was still like some ores in that bit. So it definitely looks a bit buggy um, with that. But uh, I have gone ahead and got some of this stuff we need. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't particularly want to do use all my black plutonium uh, to turn it into that cosmic neutronium stuff. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, we have 4,000. I need a bunch more of it, and you get it from the black plutonium, but I just don't want to use it all because, uh, I need to make some, some ingots here. Although, like, I could just use it. I could just get this, these plates. I don't know. I'll think about it. Um, because as of right now, it seems to be having a bit of a problem mining up re more resources um anyway uh today i think um kind of while we're smelting up all this americium and neutronium and stuff and uh i think i want to look into getting some ruthenium and this is going to be probably a long and involved process and uh i don't know i think it'll be cool uh to see what we can come up with now I'm probably going to need to write this down because we're going to need a whole bunch of different machines here. You may even need a dedicated blast furnace from what I'm looking at. So here's obviously we can get it from there. It looks like this is the final thing to get this now 
Question is, do I probably would just do a large chemical reactor would be my guess. All right, so we're gonna need a large chemical reactor. And uh, that'll get us that, so. All right. Yeah. So hydrochloric acid we have, that we have. Uh, next we need this ruthenium tetra something. And this is a fluid solidifier. We need a fluid solidifier for that. And it looks like we may have to build a whole distillation tower as well. <laughs> I can't see any other way to do this. So it looks like that only has to be like too tall. I think. No, that's three, I think, isn't it? All right, so a fluid heater. Right, that's what I said. Fluid solidifier and a distillation tower. <laughs> so fluid solidifier. Uh, three tall distillation. And that will get us the... this one All right so this then we need a fluid heater for this and another chemical reactor for that so fluid heater and another large chemical reactor for that So yeah, as we can see, this is quite a involved process for sure, but uh, this could be pretty fun. So that's that, ruthenium touch of something, then we need this, so then we need this sodium. Let me type this in so I don't have to keep going through all this. Sodium. Alright, so then to get this, we need a blast furnace. <laughs> so we're gonna have to set up, a, I guess, a whole separate blast furnace for this, because... Yeah, I guess we'll just have this separate. So we need a blast furnace. For that... And then this leech stuff, how do we get this? This is, I, I don't think that's a thing, is it? That doesn't look like a thing. <laughs> so uh, I think this comes from processing platinum-ish somehow. I can find it. Platinum residue, man. Um, so another blast furnace here. May be able to do this in one blast furnace. Um, I'll have to take a look at this though. Then we need molten potassium disulfate. So as we can see, this is pretty crazy. We need a fluid extractor of some sort. <laughs> And there is that. That's a pretty easy recipe. Fluid extractor, a regular chemical rec um, A chemical reactor, just a regular one will work fine for that. And I'm not seeing any like crazy numbers on any of this stuff. Like this is all relatively easy to make, I think. Like, this is MV and this is easy to make. All right, so that's that. And then this platinum residue is the f f first thing, I think. <clears throat> so the platinum metallic powder. I 
And then it looks like different ores you add to it give higher. No, it's pretty much all the same. It's, there's a couple that's a little bit higher, but uh, probably the easiest would be. Well, there's shell copyright. Easiest would just be that, probably. But then there's this as well. So we need a chemical reactor for this. And then, oh man, <laughs> a mixer, but we need to use cells. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, yeah, okay, so a mixer for that. Seeing if there's anything. Oh, uh, we need the yeah the residue stuff. Um, yeah, so we need a mixer for that, and then a canner for that. Is that right? So mixer, fluid canner, and then I think another chemical reactor, and I think. I got everything. So this whole process to get to ruthenium is pretty nuts. So why don't I cut here and start crafting some of this up and figure out where the heck I'm going to put this. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This is kind of like that area where we're doing all these kind of processes, whereas these are more like on-demand crafting stuff. So maybe kind of over here-ish. Start going out here. I don't know. Let me uh, do some kind of thinking and planning here, and we will come back. And we are back, and uh, I've decided to just kind of build out um, this way a bit. I'm going to left us some room um, so I can kind of fancy up this building. And uh, not sure how big this is going to get. Seems like this is going to be a pretty big build. But uh, yeah, just did the usual um, kind of thing here. So pretty typical. I'm probably going to go with mostly HV stuff in here because that seems to be all the recipes are pretty cheap. And uh, yeah, it's just easy getting all the HV stuff. I have all the recipes for them and everything. So uh, um, if there's an issue, we can always fix that because all these, I can just run cables off these kind of thing. It'll get a bit messy, but uh, it's definitely possible if I need to output a higher tier. Um, yeah, um, basically just started getting some of the stuff ready for it and uh basically just starting at the bottom and kind of working my way up here so the first little bit we need to do is this aqua something it's called aqua regia or something it's called so this is the first thing we're going to need to do so nitric acid with Diluted sulfuric acid. I'm trying to think of like an easiest way to do this. Um, I have nitric acid um, being produced. Diluted sulfuric acid. Now that's something I hadn't considered. Yeah, it's just basically water. Um, yeah, I do get diluted sulfuric acid, but I turn it all into sulfuric acid. Um, all right, so uh, before we get into that, let's do the mixer will be that, I think. Chemical reactor there. And the fluid 
canner there, I think. And then I guess probably what's going to end up is pumping the nitric acid into there. And we're going to need a pump on that, aren't we? Or a conveyor belt for the uh, bouncing the cells back. All right. And diluted sulfuric acid, that kind of makes this a little more difficult. I was thought that was regular sulfuric acid. Let me figure out how I want to get this. All right, I think I uh, kind of figured this out. So this is going to be a sulfuric acid going into there. Water into there. Goes there. All right, and then I need some cells, and that will create the diluted uh, the diluted sulfuric acid. Uh, I just wanted to have a whole separate thing. I could have depended on the other thing, the other um, circuit of one. Um, the thing over there, I produce it in the where I'm producing my explosives, but that doesn't run all the time. So I kind of wanted to get like a dedicated one. And then that should go that way. Fluid output, item output. And I, sh I put the conveyor on there, so it should. Yeah, there we go. All right, so there it's producing the diluted sulfuric acid, and that's going in there. And then we need the nitric acid being pumped into this one. And I'm sure this is not <laughs> in any way the most efficient way to do it, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I can always adjust things if I uh, find it's not working. All right, so that's going to have to fill up. And that'll just take a little while to get enough of the nitric acid in there. I guess we'll just do how about we do eight. And then item output. That'll go in there. That should mix with that if I did that right. Hopefully that is right. I check diluted. I need a circuit of three. There it is, that. Perfect at three. All right, so there is that aqua, whatever it's called, and then we will pump that out. I have any pipes. Yeah, that's right, I don't have any. Uh, <laughs> My pipes aren't connected to the controller anymore, or the uh, yeah. I kind of have to do this manually. Really need to get this fixed out, so I don't have to keep worrying about this stuff manually. I was like, that should be going pretty quick. Yeah, let's just make a bunch of these pipes.
so that will just go out over here and down into there. Boot output. And there we go. Now this Aqua Regia stuff gets, we're just gonna do just this one, I think. So one, yeah, circuit of one with the, all right, so we need an export bus. Just realizing, is that gonna be, yeah, I should probably, I really should have this just done with Ender IO conduits, just because I can have so many more. I can do it all in like one side, because I have an, yeah, I need to access one more side, I think. So that I think I'm gonna have to move this. Yeah, I'll have to move this over one. Let me get that stuff out. And we'll put it there, I think, because that gives me one extra side to work with. All right, I think that'll be good. And throw that there. That will be the platinum metallic powder. I'll go in there and I need, what was it a circuit of, it was a one, right? Yeah. Circuit of one. And then um, put this back in. All right, so that's in there. And that will produce the platinum concentrate and the platinum residue dust. All right, so that's the first little part of it. So <laughs> five machines and just to get this tiny platinum residue dust. Now this platinum concentrate is, I'm pretty sure what... Holy cow, this is crazy. So ammonium chloride with the platinum concentrate gets you all this stuff. And this is how you end up getting the <laughs> platinum. Yeah, you mix that with calcium and you get platinum, calcium chloride. So that's how you get, from this stuff is how you get platinum dust. So that will be, we'll probably set that up at some point. Um, but we need this platinum residue dust is what we need now. All right, so we got to turn this into this leach residue dust. So I need a blast furnace and uh, potassium disulfate. So let me get this stuff done here. And got the next part here. It's a little bit crowded in here, but uh, put that there that there and then I think we're just gonna build the blast furnace kind of right here right next to it I think we'll just do HV so I don't think speed is super important but uh, I could be wrong and end up changing my mind here So. 
So I guess uh, put that in back, the input bus. And then we have output hatch, output bus, and then that right there. And I'm just using some coils I already have, uh, which is the Nakwata coils. I'm sure it is not necessary, but uh, So there we go. Now we're going to do this. Um, I'll go there. So that in there. Capacity card. Fluid. I got to grab a, I think it's chlorine. I remember. For this stuff, potassium disulfate, oxygen. So oxygen, potassium, and sulfur we need to pick up. So oxygen. Potassium. Oh, we only have 300 potassium. That's something to kind of think about. We have rock salt. I could just go tear up a rock salt vein and get tons of potassium. All right, so which one's which? There, potassium and a sulfur. Probably gonna need some better cables. Let's get those crafting up. All right, so that's filling that up. That should put the sulfur in there when it's done. And then we'll auto output that. To the left. It actually makes, how much does that make? Oh, it's making 11. I didn't realize it was making 11 from those two. All right, so that's, this isn't the fastest, that's for sure. All right, so that's going in there. Is that connected? No, it's not. All right, I got to throw a muffler on that, I think. All right, so let's do uh, the maintenance really quick. All right, there we go. Where the heck did those come from? I feel like... Oh, that's weird. Has that always been a thing? You hold the soldering iron? I don't know if I've ever noticed that before. Weird. All right, and then the platinum residue. I guess we need to get that. We need a circuit of 11, and then we need to get that platinum or the circuit stuff. Not the circuit, uh, the platinum stuff. So there is that, and then there is the platinum residue dust. Now I just have this being imported directly into the A system. So the tiny little things. And that will automatically go to the packager that we have. Should be 
Yeah, the bottom right one. I think it is that. So that is just going to go in there and then that'll do that. So I need, I guess we need another. Yeah, we'll need another export bus. Yeah. So that's that. Then we need the circuit. Eleven. All right, so there's the input bus. There's the export. Put that on there. And I got to figure out kind of like what will be the, like what will stop this all producing? Like um, I'm going to have a level of middleware on something, but I have no idea what will be. Like, cause this just will continue to run until this runs out of platinum metallic water. I mean, maybe I'll just wait till that all goes and then I don't think this has any other uses other than smelting it down, but that's a terrible thing. Yeah, the only other, yeah, that has no other use. All right, so I'll probably just let all of this metallic stuff go and uh, that'll kind of be the turn off for this. But uh, all right, so that's filling that up. And then I guess we can just turn this on and it should work. Yeah. All right, so there is the rhodium sulfate and there is the leach residue dust. All right, perfect. Now this rhodi rhodium stuff, this is how we will end up eventually processing it 50 million different ways to get the rhodium that uh, we need so as we can see we're kind of like getting different all the different stuff out here so like this is getting the platinum condensate or whatever it's called which we'll get our platinum dust from and then we're getting the platinum residue which we're going to get our ruthenium from and this process gives out the rhodium which is this is what we'll get rhodium from and uh i think this is where we got our osmium and iridium from so uh yeah as we can see, all the different kind of uh, the process for the platinum uh, group. So, fortunately, that is about wrapping up point for this episode. Um, we did get down to leech residue. Now we have another blast furnace we need to... I'm probably just going to craft up another blast furnace. They're very cheap at this point. Just some stainless steel, basically, and some invar. Um, everything is pretty cheap. The coils, depending on the coils we use, but uh, yeah, I actually have this. I think I have this turned off or something, don't I? Let's just go. Yeah, we'll get that run in, and uh, we'll work through all that uh, platinum. I can't remember how much I have in the A system, but uh, all right. And then uh, I'll craft up another blast furnace and. Uh, think we don't have too much craziness to, yeah we still have all right so we got that 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 all right so i mean we still have a couple things we need to get here but uh we'll finish that up at the beginning of the next episode and uh hopefully um progress a bit more uh maybe i will have enough for a uh probably not another one of these circuit assemblers I just don't have enough ruthenium, so I need 140. So, uh, yeah, I probably won't be able to get one of those. Um, but, uh, yeah, other than that, I'm still kind of working on the neutronium compressor as well. So hopefully we'll get that relatively soon as well. So I have a bunch of neutronium and stuff so we can make the plates and everything. But uh, we'll get more into that next episode. So thanks for watching, and have a good one.